I'm back to test another vintage recipe, and today I'm going to attempt to make candy from a potato. I'm just gonna test out a small batch, so just one potato will do, I think. And I'm just gonna peel it. This recipe became popularized during the Depression era because it used ingredients that were readily available, like potatoes, powdered sugar was really cheap. And when you think about it, it's not so strange to have a potato candy. I know in some countries like the Philippines, we make a yam candy called yema. So it's just like boiled yam and then you coat it in sugar. So I hope this is gonna taste good. Okay, that looks good. Now, just gonna cut it in half. and then into quarters. Then just pop it into a pot of water and bring it to a boil. Now, you might be wondering, why would people during the depression make candy out of potatoes? Why wouldn't they try to make something more nutritious? Well, of course they did. They used potatoes for everything, and pasta, and rice, so many ways. But like anyone, when you're on a hustle, you wanna enjoy the sweeter things in life. And like this tattoo, the Depression era was only temporary, and this recipe is still enjoyed today. These are done nice and tender. Just drain them out. While the potatoes are still hot, I'm gonna pass them through this ricer. You could just mash them up with a fork if you want it to, but I think this gets a really fine consistency. I'm gonna actually take half of it out. Because again, I'm making a really small batch and I know that the potatoes absorb a lot of the powdered sugar. So I'm just gonna go a little bit at a time. So I got a big old jar of powdered sugar. I'm gonna start with a third cup. I just mix everything together. You see right away it gets very liquidy. And this is gonna be mostly powdered sugar. It's super liquidy at this point. The goal is to get it to look like a shiny dough, so more powdered sugar. Now it's starting to thicken up and look a little less translucent. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. I think that's good enough. I think this looks ready. I'm gonna just go in with my clean hands and knead it a bit just to pull everything off of the bowl. This looks good. You see how it's not sticking to my hands. It's super stretchy and a little glossy. I have some wax paper here and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of powdered sugar just so that it doesn't stick on there too much. Okay, just flatten it out a bit, pop it on top. I'm gonna sugar my rolling pin. I've got my rolling pin ready to roll out that potato, Kenzie. Stop it, Jen. I'm just gonna roll this out as much as I can. That looks good. I'm just gonna straighten out the edges, trimming them off a bit. I'm not gonna let this go to waste. I'm going to try a little bit something later, so just keep this to the side. Now, for the filling, I add some peanut butter. Just pull out a little bit of this and spread it out. This is another ingredient that was also mostly affordable at the time. Smells good. All right. All right, because I have to do that, sorry. Let's continue. Using the wax paper to assist, I'm gonna lift it off and then start rolling. Oh no, I broke it! <laughs> I'm gonna try this again. So I'm gonna take off that chunk and try to roll it again. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, it was touch and go there for a second. Now I'm gonna roll this up and let it chill in the fridge. I've rolled up the rest of the scraps and now I'm going to pinch off little balls and kind of shape them into mini potatoes. I have some cocoa powder here. This is unsweetened. <laughs> look at that, they look like little potatoes or little pieces of turds. Okie dokie. This is nice and firmed up. I'm gonna cut little 
Pinwheel slices, so cute. And there you have it, good old fashioned potato candy. Let's give it a try. Mmm, it's very sweet. Mm. It, it's too sweet, y'all. <laughs> Let me know if there are any other vintage recipes you'd like me to try, and I'll see you next time. Bye.